Lindsey Cash, Dallas Cowboys TV reporter, joins us now. And speaking of rare birds, they hope they have one in a certain wide receiver. And that wide receiver would be Devin Street. The rookie has made some very good impressions on the coaching staff. Had a chance to sit down with him this past week in Oxnard before we came home to talk about where he really thinks he's going to fit in in his rookie season. At this point of the preseason, fans and onlookers are searching for any diamonds in the rough on the Cowboys roster. If you've been paying close attention, a little sparkle from the rookie wide receiver Devin Street may have caught your eye. I think we have a lot of talent just from, and it's not from just thinking it, just from seeing it though. Um, just watching tape, seeing guys, you know, making tough plays across the board day in and day out. In his NFL debut, Street had four catches for 43 yards, averaging 10 yards a grab. He was one of the real surprises. You always, you can't wait till they put on the uniform and actually go against another team. Uh, and he, he performed the way we hoped he would perform. Street is smart. He's picking up on the offense well. What we've been really impressed with uh, is his ability to pick up the offense. And he's learning behind a couple of the most young and talented receivers in the league. Dez is not good just because he's you know physical free. Dez is good because of his mindset, how he attacks the ball. You know, every time that ball's in the air, he says it's his. Tell me, boy, that ball ain't coming out the man. Not for real. It's a will, it's a passion. And then also, you know, just learn from, you know, Terrence, just his game experience from last year. You know, he had some bumps in the roads, which I talked to him about how to deal with that. And then, you know, look at, he goes out there with the year and has 700 yards. Williams, touchdown, Cowboys! Touchdown, Terrence Williams! My goals are, you know, high. You know, they're, they're some stars. So, you know, I want to become a starter. I want to go out there and play. I want to have a thousand yards. And I want to be, you know, at the end of my career, I want to be considered one of the best in the game. But there's no ceiling on, on my goals. You saw in his interview, Devin Street looked very calm, cool, collected. But let me tell you something. We had a few brawls out there at training camp with the Raiders. You turn around, and it's Devin Street locked up with safety Larry Asante out there. So don't put it past these receivers. That little chip on their shoulder, a little swagger, a little confidence. I like what I'm seeing from this kid. Now, one of the things I think they've seen from Devin Street, his ability to play on the outside as a rookie. So where do you think he does fit in? Because there's four receivers that have been here. He's kind of the fifth. Where do you see him fitting in? I see him staying on the outside, Mickey, just like you said. I think that was the point of drafting him, was to bring him in, learn behind Terrence, learn behind Dez. You heard him in the interview, learning a lot behind Dez and Terrence, doing what a rookie does, trying to avoid the things that Terrence had last year. So I think he stays outside, but in our interview, he said, my goal is to be a starter. So we'll see where that takes him. I, I think it's an interesting situation because if things go well health-wise with Dez and Terrence, I think he may be fourth or fifth in receptions this year. But if they don't, and one of those guys goes down for a spell, he jumps up. I think because he's playing outside, he jumps ahead maybe of Beasley uh, and Harris in terms of receptions if they lose one of the outside guys. You, you know, you guys, I think that's why what they were looking for in a receiver in this draft. They were looking for somebody that if one of the top two guys come down, don't just assume the third guy, which now is Beasley, ends up being the starter. They can keep Beasley right. in that role, and now they've got a bigger receiver on the outside yes. that can probably step in. And, All right. and look at look at his body, the way he moves tonight. He's very elusive, young, but check him out. Very smooth. Way to go, Cash Flow. Yeah, cash happy money. birthday this week, Steve. Yeah, it was, today's Brad Shams. Mine was yesterday. Yes. We just go one after another. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know,